Don't kill me! Back off, asshole! Jack! Oh, I've been so worried about you. I heard you were gone and I... I feared the worst. You look thin. Have you been eating? You come on inside. Come on. You want some minestrone? I know what's happened, Jackie. And you know how much I've always loved you. You know how I hate it when our family turns against each other like this. Aunt Sarah. I lost her. And what the hell am I gonna do without Jenny? It's terrible. I cleaned out her apartment. She was waiting for you, Jackie. Anyone but you could see it. Oh, you should have taken her away from this place when you had the chance. And now you've got to take care of it. I'm really sorry for the way things came out, Aunt Sarah. Now you know that I never meant any disrespect to you and the family. But I'm gonna have to take a stand against Paulie and Eddie Schrote and punish them for what they did. I know. And some of the older men, they'll support your decision, Jackie. But you're gonna have to earn their trust. If you were to hurt Polly's operation, they might consider joining you. They want things back the way they used to be. I'm gonna tear his face off, Aunt Sarah. Pardon my language. But I'm gonna rip that dirty little motherfucker's face off and feed his lips to the fucking rats! But I can't kill that little fucking scumbag without your blessing. You know that. Well, kill is such a dirty word. But do what you have to do. And understand that you won't get to Paulie unless you go through his police dog first. The only way to Paulie is through Captain Eddie Schrote. Now, I happen to know he has an apartment up by Gun Hill. And I spoke to Jimmy the Grape, and he's arranged for a man named Abe Hunter to let you into the building. And I suggest you go there and take up Jimmy's offer of help while you can. <laughs> It's like I have everything to live for, and nothing to gain. 
I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schroat into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way at 90 miles an hour through the Midtown Tunnel with a guy who can't speak a lick of English, my buddy, Crazy Abdul. the deal. We got some old men with their dicks flapping in the breeze and their noses seriously out of joint, you know what I mean? And that little schmuck Paul, he's gone too far. He's got some fucking West Coast assholes doing all our meaningful labor. Jesus Christ, we've been earners for this family for more years than I care to remember. And now this. What do you say I put him over a barrel? and show them the true spirit of family loyalty. I knew we could count on you, Jackie. There's an entire gang of these idiots. We need you to put them in the ground, one by one. Now, the first one's been tailing your Aunt Sarah, but don't think she don't know every move he makes. Darkness feeds on this place. It feeds on misery. And this is where you died.
know what gets me about this town? What? Not enough action. It's like a cemetery around here. Not enough action? Say there was a street fight? Over there. God, you're hard to please. 